What up, DX1, back again with a quick update video for you guys. Um, lots to talk about in Pokemon Go, so I'm starting off with the battle feature that's coming. This hasn't been released yet, but this is going to be the new battle sequence feature, which is going to involve swiping instead of tapping, so that's one of the many changes coming to Pokemon Go within the next couple of days and weeks and months to come. So massive, massive update released recently with a brand new appraisal system and with Team Rocket Shadow Pokemon data added. So we're gonna get to that in just a moment. But first off, I wanna start off with the brand new appraisal system that we have in this pretty big update in Pokemon Go. And as we know, Shadow Pokemon are imminent in the game. So we're gonna go ahead and check out some of the um, Pokemon that I could be appraising. Now this I believe is a 90, is it 100%? I think this is 100%. So, just for example, um, you have all red and three stars for 100%. So we're gonna get to the IVs in just a second, but for example, this is what a 100% Pokemon looks like under the new appraisal system. You're gonna have three red bars for attack, three red bars for defense, and three red bars for HP, as well as three stars and a red background by the three stars. Now the best thing about this new appraisal system is the swiping. So no longer do you have to tap on each and every single Pokemon and then go to appraisal and then you have to go through the three appraisal quotes. No, no, that's, that's, those days are gone. So all you gotta do is swipe and the stats update fast. So there's really no way you can trip it up. And this is gonna be so useful for days where you're gonna do mass raids, so say you do like 30 raids in a day, or for community days where you're trying to find that 100% or that 98% that you caught that you kind of forgot about because you were grinding so many Pokemon. It's gonna be really, really useful for days like that. So I'm excited for community day, which is this Saturday, I believe. I think it's a Saturday um, or Sunday. I'll update you guys with the correct statement at the end of the video. But yeah, I really like how intuitive this new system is. So we're gonna go into the details of what colors mean which, but I just saw you what you just saw earlier what a 100% Pokemon will look like. You're gonna have three red bars plus a red, um, I guess it's a sticker or a, um, a badge, and you're gonna have the three stars, of course. So now, say for instance, you really don't want to deal with the bars, and you kind of just want to know what kind of IV range is it going to be. That's when you turn to the stars. So zero stars. If you see zero stars on the badge above the appraisal bars, zero stars is gonna be probably 0 IV to 48%, 1 star is going to be 51% to 64% IV, 2 stars is going to be 66.7% IV to 80%, 3 is going to be 82.2 to 97, 98%, and of course the 3 stars plus the red background is going to be 100% IV. So take a look at this chart, which is pretty important to look at. The new appraisal system allows you to swipe between the Pokemon and your storage list, which is really, really intuitive. I love the system. I think it's fantastic. I think it's fast. That's I think that's the main thing that Niantic was going for. This appraisal system is 100% faster and better than the old appraisal system by leaps and bounds. I don't think it's perfect. I mean, they could just give us the number, but you know, they, they, they're gonna do whatever they can not to give us stats for whatever reason. That's just, that's Niantic's thing. So, uh, with that being said, let's move on with the news. So another really cool component for this brand new appraisal system is the filtering. So there's a new star filtering system that you can use with the search bar. With the search tool has been one of the greatest things that has ever been added to this game and it just keeps getting better with every single major update and this is no exception. So you can filter by zero dash star. Actually, is that a dash or a star? It's a star, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's like a star sign on the phone. So you gotta do zero star for zero to 48% IVs. One and a star is 51.1 to 64.4. 2 star is 66 to 80, 3 star is 82.2 to 97.8, and 4 star is 100%. So just for an example, I'm going to take a look at all of my 100% um, real quick, and I'll take a look at all of my 82 to 98 as well. So I'm going to put 4, I think this is live too, so put 4 on a star, and this is, wow, I have a lot of hundos. <laughs> Not as many as other people, but that's, that's a pretty good amount. Oh man. 
If this was a uh, this was a freaking mud kip right now, that'd be that'd be sweet, but nah. um but the new move is gonna be hydro cannon for community day. Alright, those are my hundos, so let's go to my 82 to 98. So I'm gonna go three and a star. And here's all my pretty good stuff. You know, 82 to 98. So this is also um, another quick look at my 98 lucky shiny Latios that I'm going to be powering up uh, pretty soon. I, th I think after August, I'm going to hit 10 million Stardust for sure because of the bonuses. And after that, we'll go on a major um, spending spree. Uh, there's my uh, lucky Gibble right there. Is this the Gibble I'm going to evolve when I get to 125? Candies? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So it's, it's a pretty good Gibble all around. Um, so this is all like my really good stuff and you can take a look at my bad stuff just just to do it so this is my 0 to 48 percent library I think all this probably just all of it's just random crap that I've caught that I need to transfer that I haven't transferred oh no we got some shinies in there all right guess a lot of shinies in there that are bad but you know they're shinies so um, that's a really really good addition to this new appraisal system and I've been having a blast going through all of my Pokemon just seeing which ones are better which ones are worse and it's so much easier to filter out what Pokemon you exactly or specifically want to look at so kudos to Niantic for this update moving on so the next in-game event for Pokemon Go has been announced and it has a tie-in with One Piece so from July 22nd to the day after Community Day to July 29th, in conjunction with One Piece, the anime, a Straw Hat Pikachu will appear in the game worldwide, and a Straw Hat outfit will arrive for trainers, and in Japan, a One Piece statue will be placed in um, Kunimoto, Japan, hopefully I didn't butcher that, with a special Pokestop featuring art from Yoicho Oda of One Piece, I probably butchered that as well. This is being held to help support the uh, Komayoto City in Japan rebuild after an earthquake in 2019 and to celebrate both Pokemon Go's third anniversary and One Piece's 22nd. 22nd? What? 22 years of One Piece? That's wild. So, I'm guessing I can expect a Naruto Pokemon Go event. That'd be pretty epic. Or maybe a Dragon Ball Z Pokemon Go event. One Piece was the first to draw, so... I'm expecting some other anime to um, pick up the slack, but... Um, that's going to be the next in-game event that's coming up right after Community Day, so you can expect that announcement pretty soon. And finally, Shadow Pokemon have been brought into the in-game code. We can now see what they look like and all that good stuff. So these images have been very, very exciting for me to look at. These Pokemon look great. And if you don't know what a Shadow Pokemon is, I touched up on this um, a few videos ago. Um, I'll leave the link to that video in the description. I went pretty in-depth on Shadow Pokemon. But just basically to sum it up, a Shadow Pokemon is a Pokemon that has had its heart closed off. It's basically an evil Pokemon, and you have to convert it back to a regular Pokemon using Stardust and Candy. And they originated from the Pokemon Coliseum and XD Gale of Darkness video game series. If you want to know more information about Shadow Pokemon, Again, I'll leave that video in the description below. So, um, take a look at these images. There's plenty of images to look at. You look at Raticate, um, Weedle. I love how they have the purple flame aura surrounding them. Plus, they have red eyes, uh, which is pretty epic stuff. And you're going to see a large variety of Shadow Pokemon be released into the game. So, the Shadow Pokemon are in conjunction with a Team Rocket event. So, Team Rocket is going to be taking over Pokestops. We also have a couple of photos for a preview of what this is going to look like. So this is what Team Rocket is going to look like when they take control of a Pokestop. So it says the Grunt is stealing items from the Pokestop. And what you have to do is it's a PvP oriented um, battle mode. So you have to battle the Team Rocket Grunt and then I'm assuming they're going to battle you with the Shadow Pokemon and once you defeat the Team Rocket Grunt you're going to be able to capture the Shadow Pokemon and then you can purify it using Stardust and Candy which is pretty awesome stuff. Um, very much looking forward to this. I can't wait for more. We should be expecting this within the next couple of days. They may, they may just release it tomorrow as you're watching this. This may be a, a day or two late. I don't even know. 
But uh, lots of good stuff. Cannot wait for the release of Shadow Pokemon. Let me know what you guys think. Drop a comment down below. What do you think of Shadow Pokemon? Are you hyped for it? Do you care? I'm excited for this because I have really, really fond memories of snagging Shadow Pokemon. I have fond memories of purifying them back when I played Pokemon Coliseum and XD Gale of Darkness for the Nintendo GameCube, as you know. I'm a huge, huge Pokemon fan. My battery is dying, so I'm going to continue this segment when I change my battery. So these Shadow Pokemon Team Rocket and Pokestop Invasions have been teased for a little while now. They were added to the game's code a couple of weeks ago. And these Team Rocket images were found on the Pokemon App Store paid. So they're being advertised already. So obviously they're getting ready to roll them out. It's just a matter of when, not if, we will see Shadow Pokemon. And I cannot be more excited. So the raid hour for Armored Mewtwo, probably the first one, starts today at 6, so we're going to get to that. Real quick, before we get to that, I'm going to show you guys a couple of highlights for my Entei Raid Day coming up. Keep it locked, it's DX1. Alright, it is Entei Day. What up? DX1 here. What's up, everybody? Um, we are starting in here. Fanny is right behind me. You're going to get a whole lot of Entei's today. We're going to keep it we're gonna keep it casual today. Um, we're not, doing, not going too hard, are we, St. Nick? No, but we're still gonna get more shinies than anyone. Yeah, we look, there's five of us in here. I believe, what, four, three out of five? Three out of five in this car have gotten shinies already in this uh, Entei raid day. So, um, St. Nick, you're usually the um, the best person to interview here on these, these um, legendary dog days. Actually, um, there was, have you read Entei's Pokedex entry anytime recently, St. Nick? No, I haven't. So, the Pokedex actually confirmed that Entei is indeed a dog. Huh. Because it barks. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> uh, we got um, Entei in the yellow. We're about to head into the deep red. Uh, we've got players fluctuating in and out of the raid lobby, depending on where they can get in, where they get where they got their um, raid passes ready, their lineups ready. So... It's been a steady six to eight, possibly more people in for these raids. And what I like about this is that, you know, all these raid days give opportunities for shinies. That's actually, you know, three out of five of uh, people in this car have a shiny so far. However, I thought that the shiny rates were gonna be pretty low. Um, I read on the internet that people were having a little bit of a hard time getting shinies. Not this car, at least not so far, so I'll keep yeah. post it when I get a shiny. Yeah, that's cute. Alright, we just shiny. got ourselves a shiny um, Entei right here. Am I soon focused in? Okay, now I'm focused in. Okay, so we just got ourselves shiny Entei. Probably the only one I'm going to get. I was not sure if I was going to get one, but not bad. 2240 is our CP as we are moving along in this car. Um, it's a little bit of a bumpy ride, but you know, got to keep things moving. That's Billy. Yeah, Philly's always been a bumpy ride. So 2240 is going to be the CP of this Entei. It's, it's fighting me it's pretty aggressive, but I got the Pineapple Berry, and I missed the Great Throw, but it's all good. So now, I believe four out of five um, in the car have gotten a Shiny. Am I correct? Four yeah, out of five? Who didn't get yeah, a Shiny yet? Me, I'm working on it. I'm He's working on it. <clears throat> so, okay, so, it's all up to you, man. It's all up to you. It's all up to this guy. This guy right here. I'm gonna try. He's gonna try. Maybe you need to switch places. Yeah. Anybody have water? All right. So shiny Entei number two. This is back to back. Uh, this one's 24:37. So slightly worse than the last Entei. That oh god, that was a bad throw. Ugh. Uh, slightly worse than the last Entei, but still, I didn't think I was gonna get one, but ended up getting two, and I really only wanted one. So at least I have some trade bait. At least I have another Entei in just case I want to power another one up. That shiny. Good stuff, and um, another great raid day. So 2437 shiny Entei, uh, wonder attack exceeds. Really good stuff. All right, oh, yeah. so Entei yeah, no day is over, and at the end of it all, everyone was happy because all five participants in the Entei day carpool have successfully gotten shinies. So kudos to everybody who participated. Saint Nick, how many did you end up with? Well, I said I was gonna get four, but I ended up only with one. <laughs> uh, but I thought you got two. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh. No. Oh, wait, no, because that was for the that was for someone else. Right. 
Yeah, okay. I, I kind of didn't raid for myself the whole time. Oh, okay. Um, Benny, you believe you got two, yeah. right? I got one. Oh, and then got there's one. another account on my on my phone got another one. Was that was the only, was that the only one that got two? Yeah, Jake's son got two. Yeah. All right. You're, yeah, um, I ended up with four total. Between between all the accounts. <laughs> Jesus, bro. Man. But none on my main. Oh, well, you went pretty hard. You had like multiple counts. And Dave, your yeah. your last one was my a last shiny, one. So one. lucky you. So yeah, lucky. Dave got one. I remember, I remember like he was trying ID to get one up until day. late into the video right now. So he got one the very last raid that we did. It, it, may so. have been the, it may have been the highest IV shiny of all of us. Yeah, you got it like 87? 93. 90, damn, 93. Oh, so taking a look at our our shinies right here, we got 2437. I'm going to praise this as a wonder. Ectas exceeds. And we got 2440, which is a wonder attack exceeds. So I'm going to IV check um, both of those. So lots more to come in this video. So the Ente Day segment is over and pretty successful day all around. Let's get some more action. All right, it's time for another red hot Mewtwo in the Philadelphia summer heat. It's like a recorded like 95 degrees plus humidity today. So. I see a lot of sweat. Um, it's a very hot day, but no, it's raid hour, so no, no excessive heat warning is gonna stop me from coming out here and getting my Mewtwo. The last one we caught was in 98. This will probably be the last one. I don't see us getting another one. And the thing is, there's barely anybody like coming out. We have six in this one. We have five in the last one. Usually we're, we'll get like 17 to 15, 15 to 17 people in for these raids, not not this time around. I think it's because they kind of told us last minute, like we got the announcement that at six o'clock today there was gonna be a raid hour. Around like like in the morning, like right at noon, I feel like if Niantic um, had announced when the raid hours were gonna be taking place, right when they announced when Armored Mewtwo was gonna debut, I feel like more people would show out. Plus it's, it's ridiculously hot, so. I mean, I don't even know why I'm out here doing this, but I want my Mewtwo, so hopefully Mewtwo's got some air conditioning with that heavy armor. Uh, it is a scorcher out here today. But it's gonna take us a few minutes to get this down, down to my final two Tyranitars. I'm gonna have to back out and then revive my team and come back in just because of uh, amount of Pokemon that I have left versus the amount of people I have raiding with me. I see Kyogre and Gyarados in this raid, so that's how you know running low on uh, running low on ammo right now in the middle of Center City. Beautiful day, it's just really, really hot. So, but it's, it's gotta be worse in other places in the country. I'm sure those of you in the South, Florida, Georgia, um, Mississippi, Louisiana, Hell, even the Carolinas, you guys have got to be scorching out here playing Pokemon Go. So stay cool. Um, everybody take care of yourselves as we brave the summer heat and catching Pokemon. All right, let's see. Last time was 1480, 1806. Oh, wow, because I think the last one was 1804. So this one might be even better. I think. You can see there's a difference with the ball placement. The ball is floating, kind of floating in midair. It's not even like it's in your hand. The ball is literally floating in midair. All right, 1806. Let's see what happens here. Boom, two for two today from you two. All right, let's appraise this one. Ooh, 15 attacks, so it's even better than the one we just caught. Even better than the one we previously caught. 15 attack, I'm assuming 14 defense, and like 13 to 14 stamina. But this is clearly a 98, I think. We're like a high 96, but really good. Really good Mewtwo's today. Good stuff. All right. Oh, and there's Mareep on here. Potentially shiny. It's not shiny. 
Let's catch this real quick. I must say it's a lot easier to throw balls, especially one-handed, with the new ball placement. So this could definitely play into the benefit of myself and other Pokemon trainers. It's definitely easier to throw the ball. Really good stuff. So don't forget to drop a like, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's keep moving.